Welcome everyone to a brand new game. And when I say brand new, I mean brand new. It's not often that I play a game on release day. Uh, but this one I saw uh, announced earlier and I thought that sounds so familiar. And then I remembered seeing, I believe it was Paul Soares talking about it uh, last week. And then I looked at it further and realized it's the people who made Pixel Piracy. And I loved Pixel Piracy, even in its, it, people considered it really buggy and didn't like it. I really liked it. I never experienced bugs. But anyways, this is Pixel Privateers. It's, uh, it's, it's basically Pixel Piracy, but bigger, better, and in space, which also makes it better. So uh, let's just do a new game. I did start a game earlier, uh, and just played a little bit of the tutorial. And that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to look at the tutorial real quick. Uh, the name of our crew is going to be the Blainers. Oh, a crew that name already exists. Do I, can, do I need to erase it? Yes. Delete save. Yes. Back. New game. Blainers. Go. All right. How do you become a commander of a company ship? Uh, through numerous exploration missions and never leaving a man behind. Normal difficulty, you are able to clone dead crew members recommended for new players. We're going to do that rather than being the sole survivor on a suicide mission. Um, and then do we want to play tutorial? Yes. Like I said, that's what today's episode is going to be. We're just going to play through the tutorial, the main one, and then the advanced one as well. All right. So here we are on the company training facility. Greetings recruits. My name is Nub and I will be your assigned company officer. Click the text box or hit the backspace. If you can hear me, I can hear you. Oh, what is this, a flying rabbit? Yes, just another day at the company. I actually chose this uniform, uh, this form unlike many others. Company? What did, I, uh, what did I actually sign up for? I think it's weird that it gives you the dialogue and then it types out the dialogue that you clicked on. Like, I just saw it. I don't need to see this, but that's okay. Ever since wormholes showed up, company has been acquiring a lot of alien artifacts and selling information gained from them to buyers all over the galaxy. Where are we? This is the company training facility 16 currently floating near the wormhole uh, you are about to fly through. Oh, one thing I think is cool is the little avatar is like a real-time shot of what the guy's doing. And you'll see in a minute when the camera or when he moves, he like hits the edge of this and it's really, really neat. Um, all right, so I'm ready for training. Great. I'll also handle most of the communication to you through the wormhole, uh, so we'll be probably seeing each other a lot in the future. Thank you, Jordy LaForge uh, Bunny Rabbit, or Cyclops Bunny Rabbit, whichever. Uh, let's get started. Oh, Nub the Techno Rabbit. Oh, I hadn't seen that. Let's get started. Left click the privateers, right click to move, attack, or interact. Uh, move over to that minefield sign over there. It should be totally safe. All right, so I do know a few of the extra controls. Uh, you can left click to select an individual crew, mem crew member and there's actually up, down and left and right, kind of a two and a half D feel. And then you can also click and drag like an RTS. You can also hit Q and it'll select everybody. That's what I'll probably be using. So we wanna go over here to the minefield. You made it. Yeah, see how the rabbit like moves to the edge of the square. It's really cool. Uh, you can move the camera around by using WASD keys or by bringing the mouse cursor to the edge of the screen. Move the other minefield again. Nothing bad will happen, I promise. Okay, gotta go back over here. Awesome. Now right click to interact with that door button. All right, door button. <coughs> Excuse me. All interactive objects you'll encounter on your missions work the same way. You right click them. Okay. Okay, let's continue to the next room. Uh, we have arrived, uh, we have received reports confirming a zombie presence in other galaxy. I'm not kidding. We had some leftover trainee parts, so we put those in a cloning tank to create a training zombie for you. Uh, what are you waiting for? Attack it. So we right click to attack. Melee guy goes to melee. Sniper guy goes to sniping. Pretty cool stuff. I like the combat in this. It's kind of cool. Uh, hey, the zombie dropped something. Let's investigate. To view the names of items dropped, press left alt of item drops to take an item with you click the items name tag your ship's computer will beam it up for you oh okay so it looked like the name was there but then when i pressed left alt it to oh it toggles that's nice imagine having that in like diablo 2 back in the day when you'd like be holding like alt and z to see the items on the ground or whatever i don't remember what the keys were but i remember holding two keys for some reason 
you will later find the transported items in your ship's cargo. Let's get that next door open, eh? You move and interact with all the currently selected privateers. Left click any privateer to select them. You already told me that. Uh, to select the whole crew, double click a privateer or press Q. Forgot about the double click. You can also click and drag to box select one or more characters. Sorry, I taught you guys that ahead of time. Should have let the bunny rabbit do its thing. Uh, two pressure plates, one privateer each. Make it happen. All right, so he's already on that one. Let's send the sword dude over there. Excellent. Let's move on to the next room. Oh, I was, I was waiting for a door to open. Ooh, a chest. Nice job. You'd be surprised how difficult that room is with recruits who levitate. Uh, what is that sound? Oh, no. It's a cosmic zombie. Quick, kill it before it devours our warp core. Warp, warp core. Oops. He wasn't meant to be that powerful. Whenever one of these privateers is in trouble, helpful abilities and consumables appear on top of them. This is probably, quite honestly, my favorite feature of this game. Because I don't have to worry about where the potion key is or things like that. It literally pops up what he needs above his head. Boom. And he's healed. Good. Now you can just get rid of that blue, get rid of the blue guy. We don't need him anymore. It's such a cool looking game. I love the combat. Your privateers have successfully demonstrated that they can uh, move around and not die. They have been rewarded the rank Dingleberry. Let's sell. I'm glad they didn't lose the humor. Uh, let's celebrate by opening that big storage container over there. Get them something nice and nice to equip. When you're done looting, transport your privateers to your ship using the teleport button. That's the rightmost icon on your action bar. I wonder if that's our ship back there. I'll be chillaxing at the ship's bar. See you there. All right, so we need to go loot this. Beautiful. All right. So yeah, it is. Okay, it starts with it toggled on. Okay. Impact pistol, combat helmet, weapon jammer, disposable bioscanner, phaser, kinetic shield. One thing I noticed by watching Pulsora's is I know for you guys, the text is probably really hard to read. So I'll be very careful to say things out loud. All right, so let's return to the ship. Welcome to your ship. This is where your privateers will hang out when they're not on away missions. Once you're done with the R&R, &R, access the ship's control interface from the teleport button. So yeah, so this is the ship. We got a science facility looking thing over here. We got a bar with a cantina band, which is awesome. Dude with a fro. I hope I can recruit him. And then our command deck. Pretty nifty looking ship. All right, so let's uh, return to the ship menu. Welcome to the ship's management screen. I've temporarily disabled most of the controls because it might be a bit overwhelming otherwise. That's a good sign. <laughs> like the fact that they thought of that and the fact that there's a lot to it is just cool. This part of the interface is the galaxy map. It displays the surrounding space through the ship's radars. Makes you feel kind of small, doesn't it? You can travel to empty grid points by double clicking the map, move the ship uses moving the ship uses fuel. Fuel reserves and other resources are shown at the bottom. <clears throat> so down here we got credits, fuel, matter, and research points. You can select locations by left clicking them. Interactions like beaming down are only available if your ship is right next to the location. Now that you've completed basic training, you have a choice to make. Some captains like to jump straight in and learn as they go or others prefer advanced training. We're going to do advanced training, of course. If you feel the need, or if you feel you are ready to start exploring, take your ship through the wormhole. Otherwise, transport your crew down to the planet and we'll go over advanced topics. All right, so we're about to reach what I did earlier. I just beamed down to the planet and did a few things earlier. So we're going to select the planet, choose our team. Here you can select the privateers that you want on your away team. Transport can fit up to eight crew members at once. Let's beam down to that planet. Select all your privateers for the landing party. So, boom, boom. Uh, the bigger your landing landing party is, the more matter it will cost you to transport them. If you don't have the required matter, you can't use the teleporter. Or sorry, transporter. Click the start mission button to transport your away team to the surface. I'll meet you down there. All right, start game. Welcome to the surface, Captain. This is Aplana. Let's begin your next training mission. Let's warm up for a bit. Hold down shift to run when moving or um, 
moving outside combat. Uh, you can also enable auto run in the options. Sprint to that minefield. Sign. It said minefield sign. I do want to see. Do I have auto run on? Auto run outside combat. Yeah, yeah, I do. So I don't need to practice the shifting. Boom. Oh. Okay, that didn't go as planned. Who leaves an active minefield on a training course? Okay, no need to panic. This is the future after all. It's it's kind of like it's kind of like Borderlands. Ship's computer keeps track of all the enlisted privateers. If an employee dies, we can just clone a replacement from their DNA samples and transport them right back. Good as new. Minion. Let's do that. Actually, the Borderlands universe would do really well with a game like this. Let's do that. Use the portraits at the top left to revive your privateer. I love how revive was in quotes because clearly I'm cloning them. So a, a new guy is going to appear over here in just a second. <coughs> Takes a hot minute. All right. Thanks for saving me. See, good as new. You can only use this technique outside of combat. In the event that all your privateers happen to kick the bucket, you need to go back to the ship to revive them. Cloning your privateers eats up the ship's matter reserves, so make sure to always have some extra. Okay, maybe let's go over, go the other way. That minefield is a health hazard. I see some of our research staff over there. Let's go see what they're up to. All right, so we got some research staff over here. All right. Hello there, privateers. We found this, uh, this shipwreck recently and have been investigating it ever since. Schnib pulled out this strange warp capacitor from the wreckage. Could you take it to your ship and do a preliminary scan on it? We'll let you publish the results, too. All right, so I need to go take that. Okay, yep. Yeah. Hmm, I wonder what kind of device this actually is. Good thing there's a research lab on board your ship. All right, so that, that went to the research lab. Oh, we're going back to the ship? It says it's 50% cleared. But it's not letting me do anything else, so I guess let's go back to the ship. Now we need to go identify the capacitor at the item research facility. Click the item research button. Okay, item research. Uh, when you collect unidentified items or research artifacts, they appear here. Common items that do not require identifying go directly to the crew inventory. Okay. Alien artifacts automatically start being researched when you find them. Unidentified items need to be clicked to start the, or the identifying process. Identifying items consumes research points while researching artifacts yields them. Okay. That's interesting. Click on the research tab. Here you can see any artifacts currently being researched. Once an artifact has been thoroughly researched, it will be archived, uh, recorded and converted to matter. Click the archive button. Oh, archive, there we go. The archive stores all the research data you have accumulated so far, as well as being recorded here. Uh, the artifacts will be automatically converted to matter. Let's return to the surface where we met uh, the researchers after the research has completed. All right, galaxy map. Choose team. Okay, so we got to go back down now. <clears throat> like that cost does matter. Oh, it actually... Where does it say what? how much matter it costs us? I don't know. Teleport cost. Two kg matter. Okay, two kilograms of matter. Where's the matter? Oh, I got tons of matter. What's it matter? I don't know. Hello there again. Thank you for helping us with the capacitor. I'm sure you can find some use for it later. Whoa, your crew just sparkled like vampires. <laughs> that means they grew more experienced. Or this game just took a, a turn for the worse. <laughs> once you go back to once you go back to ship, it kills me. I don't know if it's the way Nub it just talks. But it kills me the way, and and well, part of it is the way that the company is is named company, but the way he says once you go back to ship, they may train to get more powerful. Not once you go back to the ship, and I, it's not a translation thing. I'm pretty sure they're English speakers, the devs. I don't know. Before we do that, let's go see the research camp nearby to see if they need any help. All right. Still just the two of us. Oh, here you go. Hello, nerdy-looking fella. Aloha, privateers. Traveled through the wormhole yet? No? I bet you will soon enough. 
I heard the stability of the wormhole has been exceptional recently. Let's hope it will remain as such. Hey, listen. I've got more than enough samples from the wreckage there, or from that wreckage there, but I lack equipment. Could you replicate me some extra quantum field spectrometers? Here's one for you to act as a template. Okay, quantum field spectrometer. Got it. Okay, let's go back to the ship and check out the item replicator. All right, back up to the ship. Replicating items can be easily done with the ship's replicator system. Click the replicator button. Uh, replicator. Oh yeah, it's adding the buttons up here as I need them. The replicator uses the selected item as a template and produces a new copy of the item. This procedure uses matter and the process can sometimes fail. Since transporting characters to the surface also uses matter, you should be aware of your matter resources at all times. Okay, so I'm at 61.G or 61.1 kilograms. I'm assuming it's kilograms. Uh, you should now replicate at least three copies of the spectrometer we received from the researcher. When the replication succeeds, the new item will be automatically added to the ship's inventory. <clears throat> Got it. Uh, replicator? No. Spec or spectrometer. That's what I'm supposed to be re replicating. Required matter. 46 kilograms. I can't. Oh. It oh, no, no. I could. I could. But I... Oh, okay. That's what it's, it's wanting me to learn. Why was that moving up and down like that? I have no idea. Okay, but I can't. I don't have enough matter. Are you going to tell me how to... Um, did I miss something? What happened? Oh, <laughs> here we go. Finally. <laughs> Unfortunately, we ran out of matter. Hmm. I wonder what we should do now. I really like how they did that. Like they made me, they made me stop and think and be like, uh oh, did I miss something? And then I like click around frantically. Ah, I know. Let's call Kent. He knows all about scrap and matter. He's also very, uh, he's also a very nice person. Whenever you have problems like this, broadcast the distress signal and hope the right person picks it up first. Let's go to the galaxy screen and see if the distress signal broadcasting system is active. What do you say? Gra yeah, galaxy map. Okay, so distress signals are a way for you to get some help if you get stuck on your journey for some reason. Beware though, broadcasting the signal will render your ship's cloaking system useless so you might invite some unwanted guests. Activate the distress signal broadcaster by clicking the distress button next to the choose team button. Ah, distress. Awaiting response. While we wait, I'm gonna get some tea or coffee. Of course, as I reach for it, it comes up. All right, merchant encounter, rusty old cargo ship, which looks like it was welded together from car parts has docked with your ship. This is feeling like FTL. I don't like this. You hear a voice from the comm link yelling, need meat with those potatoes? Um, confirm? Okay. Oh, I'm going. Okay. Start game. I'm worried about this. The Humble Horn. Oh. Oh, we're okay. <clears throat> Do I need to talk to this dude? No? Oh, there he goes. Hey, y'all. Heard on the Distress Channel that y'all are in need of some matter. Don't worry, this one's on my house. Good. Um, How do we get matter? How, or how do we get the matter? Take these matter crates here. Nub can tell you how to put these bad boys to use. I'll be heading over to the wormhole right now. See you on the other side. Catch a ride. I feel like that's probably what he should talk about. Talk like. I love the cantina. Look, he, the, the singer's floating. That's awesome. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, I love the characters in this. All right, moving on. <laughs> that stutter made me think it was about to crash. The matter crates you received from Kent are now in the ship's inventory. They can be found in the crew window. Let's go see what you can do there by pressing the crew button on the top of the ship management window. There is a lot to this, and I love it. All right, in the crew screen, you can manage your characters, their equipment, and training. Use fuel and matter items and destroy items for matter. Ah. I figured there was a way to do that. 
your crew members are listed on the list on the left. There's a lot of L's. Notice how they have a green blinking indicator? That means they have gained a level. Da -da -da -da. Each time they level up, characters will earn two or three training points, which you can spend on the training tab of that character. Select a character and click the training tab on top of the inventory view. Okay. This is the training panel. You can hover over the different states or hover over the different stats to see how they affect the character. Allocate some uh, stat points um, and click confirm to make their training permanent. Okay. So <clears throat> who's good at want what? Wait, which one's my, can I see who, can I see what equipment they have? Does this show me what's equipped? So I want to know who's got that sword thing. Okay, who... Well, okay, hold up. I want to know... Oh, here we go. Okay, so you're my melee dude. Okay. So you need strength. Agility is... Chance to hit. And dodge. I like, I like having dodge. I love characters with high dodge. Let's actually pull down his strength. And let's up his dodge... Speed is fine. He's already faster than the other guy. We will... Oh, by the way, I am going to name these characters. And I've decided what I'm going to do this time. Usually, I name characters after people who have recently commented on videos. But I realize it's kind of backwards because those people might not, might not watch this series. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name these characters off of the people who have commented on this video and subsequent videos in this series. Um, let's give him some stamina. I'm assuming that's health points. Oh, and block damage. That's cool. Uh, yeah, that's good. Confirm that one. Good. Let's go back to the character tab. No, I want to level this guy up too. Uh, so he's, which one affects? What's the chance to hit? Main hand's chance to crit. Okay. So intelligence is crit. Healing. Drone and turret damage. There are drones and turrets in this game. Oh, yeah. And this for him would just up his carry capacity. Oh, that's interesting. There's carry weight. Let's do agility. And let's just do agility for him. It doesn't. He doesn't up his dodge chance. Well, does this actually up his shot ability? I'm assuming so, right? Wouldn't you think? Why would it say main hand? Because it's in his main hand. Okay. Oh, oh, whoops. Oh, sorry. I clicked through stuff. I thought it was telling something else. Let's change the class of a character to a scout by changing their equipped tool to a target marker. You can do that by right-clicking the tool in the ship inventory or dragging it to the character's tool side. Okay, so I can change his class by giving him a different weapon. That's interesting. So he needs the... What was it he was wanting me to give him? Um, no. Some target thing. Okay, let's go one by one, because I'm not seeing it. Bullet weapon, no. Poor helmet, no. No. Target... Okay, they're a target marker. Okay. So this goes here. Oh, okay, great. The class of the character affects the abilities the character can use in combat. Now locate, locate the matter crates in your ship's inventory um, as you hover. I thought I said haver. As you hover the mouse cursor over the crates, you'll notice a text explaining how you can inject the matter to the ship's matter reserves. Inject all the crates to the ship's matter com com conversion system now. All right, but hold up, hold up. I want to do some more stuff here. Hold on. Because did this change anything here? Yeah, he didn't do his training. All right. So let's do... Let's let's do it. Yeah, let's do agility for him. So he's now a scout. Stealth, spotting, disarming, and so forth. That's cool. <clears throat> so what does this do? Increases critical hit chance for the scout and gives a bonus to hit rating for every crew member attacking the scout's current target. That's neat. Now, you've got this sword. Do I have a sword that's better over here? Yes. Yes, let's give you that sword. 
Hold up. I'm going to take the time to do this. You better believe it. Okay, let, let's give you that helmet. What are you? Snappy weapon jammer with modified feed. The weapon of the target enemy becomes... Jam okay, I don't have time to read through all this. What am I talking about? Bioskin. Whoa, okay. Well, let's give you this poor helmet that he was wearing. <laughs> I love the armor. The look of the armor is fantastic. All right, so his combat light armor is still probably the best armor for him. Okay, anyway, sorry. What was I doing? I need to go to ship storage. Here? No. Here? Ah. Right click to inject the in okay, right click. Right click to inject the matter to the ship's reserves. Okay, but I'm in the I'm in the replicator. I don't want to replicate it. How do I get back to Oh, ship storage over here. There we go. Inject matter. Yeah, let's say don't show this again. That seems like a good idea. Awesome. You can also gain matter by dis uh, by disintegrating items. You can do so in most screens with an inventory list. Click the disintegrate button below the list to enter disintegrate mode. Okay. If you now click an item, it'll be destroyed and you'll get a small amount of matter based on the item's weight. Now that we can generate enough matter, let's go back to the replication screen and replicate those spectrom spectrometers. All right. Replicate. Beautiful. Woohoo! The researchers will be really happy to gain access to these babies. Let's transport back to the surface to deliver these to them and to see if they need anything else. Galaxy map. Boom. Choose team. Boom, boom, boom. Start. Hey, you returned. Did you manage to replicate the spectrometers? Yes, let's beam them to you. That's tremendous. Thank you so much for doing this. All right, are we good? Is he thinking? Oh, there we go. Nice. Let's hope those new... Oh, there's bad guys over there. Let's hope those new findings help us discover useful new techni technologies. When you are ready, let's transport back up to the ship. We still got one more place to visit there. The science lab. There are also some disturbing sounds coming from the forest ahead. You might want to investigate what's going on. Okay, so I can go do some combat. That's a, that's a good idea to let me, like kill time or like like break up the monotony of going into the system the ship's systems and stuff now I'm, I'm not sure okay come back here come back here I want you to get closer because maybe you'll have a better shot oh oh they got a big dude over there oh dear okay come back come back I don't know I don't know if this is a good idea are we okay are we doing okay okay hold on pause 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 tactical mode enable okay so I can click between my guys up here, I believe. Is there another way? I, scroll? Scroll, I think, also works, but that's not in tactical mode, apparently. So you've got this assassinate deals 700% weapon damage to the selected target. If used from stealth, turns into an ambush shot, which rewards 500% more damage. Requires a stack of five sniper aims. Do I have that? I have no idea if I have that. Oh, so I can't do it yet. Okay. Well, keep doing y'all's thing. I'm going to be watching for this. Okay, attack, 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 attack. Attack them. I wish it would, like, auto-attack. I don't know why it's not. All right, I think we're doing all right. Let's kill that guy. Kill the weak ones. All right, so this isn't too bad. I was worried about the blue guy because the blue guy earlier was really, really rough. Beautiful. All right, so we got lots of zombie skulls. All right. Is there anybody else this way? I like the combat. Okay, that's it. All right, let's beam up. The reason why the company is sending um, all these... See, now there it says why the company, but the company, the C is capitalized. I don't get that. The reason why the company is sending all these privateers to other galaxies is to gain new technology and sell that information in our own galaxy. The researcher gave us research points. These point rep points represent available opportunities to gain new insight on new technologies. You already have used the points to identify strange items, but there are other uses as well. Click the science lab button. 
Science Lab. So, this is the Science Lab. Technologies are divided into tiers and clusters. Hover the cursor over technologies to learn their benefit and requirements. Click on any available technology to prime it for research. The total cost of the current research selection is shown next to the confirm button. Notice how science clusters consist of a major technology and several minor ones. Uh, you need to research clusters major technology before any minor technologies. Okay. You need to always research at least one minor technology inside the science cluster of a major technology before researching a new major technology from a new science cluster. What? Hold up. <coughs> Read that again. <clears throat> you need to always research at least one minor technology inside the science cluster <clears throat> of a major technology before researching a new... Okay, so you have to do a major one and then before you can do another major one, you have to do a minor one of the first major one. I They said it the best way possible, but it's <clears throat> very confusing. Once you have selected one or more desired technologies, click the confirm button to activate those techs to uh, to immediate, immediate, wait, to um, immediate benefit, immediate, to, imme okay, such weird, okay, some of the, some of the wording of this is just not right. To the immediate benefit your ship what is it is that written right and i'm just dumb anyways to the benefit of your ship and your crew <clears throat> i can't think of what word they were trying to say there uh you can also click the reset button to start over with your current choices no rp is actually used before you confirm your choices okay research at least one new technology now remember to confirm your selection all right so 25 <clears throat> percent extra hp or vanguards i don't know what vanguard is Oh, it's a, I guess it's a class. Scouts deal 15% extra damage with two-handed weapons. That sounds good. Or guns. Sounds good to me. Uh, Marines are able to transfer strike combinations to the next target. Okay, I don't have one of those. Crew members can shoot from inside smoke bomb smoke cover. That's cool. Happy pills. Medics can prescribe other crew members pills that heals the crew member when he gets damaged. The effect can only happen three times. Wait, what? It heals the crew member when he gets damaged. That's interesting. But I don't have a medic. Um, instinctive aiming. Characters remaining stationary increases their hit <clears throat> rating by 2% per second. Maximum effect is 10%. No, no, I like the extra damage. That 15% extra damage, that sounds good to me. Now, can I do another? I got another. Damage taken from status effects won't break stealth. Damage taken from status effects won't break stealth. That's interesting. Scouts are able to be to see cloaked enemies. Now that seems important. Scouts gain plus fifteen percent damage when no enemies are close by. No, 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 no. I want to see those cloaked enemies. Confirm. Now that's why we do this. Awesome. All right. I think your training is now complete. When ready to when ready, use the galaxy map screen to travel through the wormhole and begin your assignment. Awesome. All right. Well, that'll do it for this episode. That ended up being way longer of a tutorial than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. We got through it. And I'm really excited about this game. So, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. You might be named a crew member. We'll see you guys next time. Adios. Goodbye. <laughs>